Yeah, hi there YouTube. So I just thought I'd come out today in my bikini and get a little sunshine on the body that's been covered up forever in the winter and not getting enough vitamin D. Well, of course I do take supplements, but nothing's better than fresh, clean air with sunshine on as much skin showing as possible in this day and age. But here we are, South Texas. It's 88 or yeah, no, 88. <laughs> Six, it's about 68. I wish it was 88, but it's about 68. It's warm, it's uh, breezy, and I just thought I'd do a little um, tour update. So, as I was speaking about uh, earlier in one of my other videos, I have this stuff fabric called uh, tulle and this is keeping the squirrels from digging up my seeds. I just planted some acorn squash in these. I don't know how they're going to do because I've never tried to grow acorn squash. It's the ones that you get, the green ones you get from the grocery store. I just took the seeds out from that. But normally what I like to grow are something called kabucha squash because in Hawaii they grew super easy but this is South Texas. But anyway I have a garlic in this one that I actually soaked because it's not um, organic so I don't know if it's been treated with um, growth inhibitor or not but I soaked it for a few hours and then it started sprouting. It's got a little sprout on the top and it's got little sprouts on the bottom because I soaked it in water. So I decided the other day to plant this one. I'm not too sure it's going to grow because when you buy these non-organic from the store they spray them or they irradiate them so I don't have a lot of hope for this one the thing is they don't sell organic um, at the store I shop at that's just right across the street so I'm probably gonna have to buy some organic either online or whenever I get to the Whole Foods store which is you know I have to drive there so I'm doing a compost in place uh, on this one I got compost on the bottom and some just native soil on top and I'm going to put some um, planting mix soil on the uh, up here and then I don't know what I'm going to plant in that one yet and I don't know what I'm going to plant over here yet but I'm just doing, doing one. I don't want to get too ahead of myself on this stuff because if something happens and we have another cold freak storm that blows through and destroys everything I, I don't want to have to start all over from you know if i if i get too much stuff planted at once i'm just going easy with this it's, we're still in what uh early march so you never know it, there could be another co really cold day or two you never know but anyway my onions did survive the snow and they are doing okay they were looking like they were going to die for a while but now they've kind of sprouted back up a bit they're growing again so that's good those are my onions. I don't think my carrots are going to survive. I did plant them before the snow, so they probably all died. I don't know yet. My squash did die, so the squirrels have been digging in here a little bit, so I don't even know. I don't want to plant no more stuff in the ground, really. Uh, my orange tree, it's it's been um, frozen to death, hopefully not to death, but... As you can see, it's all dried out, and most all the oranges fell. There's no almost no oranges left. They're all rotted. There's just a few up there, and there were no good anymore, which is sad because I really love this tree. It, it had enough oranges to last me another three months, probably well into the summer. Anyway, my lettuce is doing good. I had to move it over here because underneath the tree, the birds were um shitting and it was um i think one of my leaves got some bird shit on it as you can see um can you see that the white that looks like bird shit to me so right now they're not under any tree or anything so hopefully no birds will just you know do that again because now i have to just pick these leaves and what i do is i pick all the bad ones and i compost them in water and this i put the leaves I put the leaves in here. Can you see that? Yeah. I put the leaves in there and when I water this tomato, the water, there's a hole here and the water comes out and it drains into here. That way I'm not losing any nutrients from the potting mix I have in there. And then I'll just take this 
and I'll water it back a little. I already watered them this morning. But when I water them a lot, there's a hole and it water comes down and drips into here. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that type of thing. I'm gonna have all my pots up so that when I water them, I don't lose any of the nutrients. Oh, and good news, my apricot tree, it, did, it made it. I was worried it wasn't gonna make it through the snow, but I had her covered up really, really well. And I know it's made it because it's got little green shoots. I'm so happy with this because I like dried apricots. So that way, if I get too many apricots, I can um, dry them. I get a, what do you call it, a dehydrator. Um, I don't know if my fig tree has made, made it, but I had this one covered up just as good as I had the apricots. So there's no reason why this one wouldn't make it, um, but no green sprouts yet but it hasn't been that long i'm actually surprised the apricot sprouted this soon i'm really happy with that my um what do you call i i just, I just my mind just went blank okay my um what are these called again <laughs> aloe vera oak i almost forgot what they're called aloe vera i don't know if they're gonna snap out of it but the snow really did them did them in which is sad because i used to like to come out here and I'll pick a leaf and use the um, the lubricant inside the leaf to lubricate my skin and face and and it was natural lubrication for the skin and now I don't know if I'm ever gonna have those again because look at them they look very very wilted they're all mushy and the weeds are taking over so I need to get in here and clean up all the weeds and I don't know, uh, I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait to see if they're going to um, re regrow or not. I, I think they're, they've had it, but I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. So I don't know what to do with those. My raspberry, I don't know what to do with this. It's not looking too good. It hasn't rotted yet, maybe the tip, but I couldn't cover this one because it, it, I just planted it before the snow. I didn't know it was gonna snow and I just planted that and I couldn't cover it because it's too close to the ground. It wouldn't matter, the snow would have buried it anyway. I don't know. So um, I've been putting compost in here. Um, what I do is I like to dig a hole and I drop, put my compost in and I just bury it. That's the easiest way and then i got a uh, lettuce in here that's doing really well so i decided just to leave this one in here this way it's completely protected from any birds flying by or anything it looks very uh, edible at this point but i'm going to let it grow a little bit more and then i found this in my compost buried under the compost i think it's a beet and yeah so i just put dug this out of the compost put it in the pot and that's about it for now hope you enjoyed the video so let's see I'll just put this down here so this is my bikini garden update and if you like to see more I've got an OnlyFans and everyone take care and see you later